Hey guys, how's it going? Says back again and welcome to another episode of FIFA 15 Demoing. Today we're looking at FC Barcelona. Of course, as you can see in the top right, we're playing against Dortmund. I'm playing a 4-3-1-2 formation so that I can squeeze in at Neymar, Suarez and Messi up top. You'll be able to see uh, if I switch to the team management screen, I've actually got Messi in there at Cam. It's rather frustrating that sometimes, as you can see, depending on the formation, players' uh, names actually get knocked off. But... You can, you can see there Messi's playing in cam behind Neymar and Suarez. I've got uh, Iniesta, Xavi and Rakitic in the midfield. I really like Ivan Rakitic. Taken uh, Biscuits out. Of course, still got Song on the bench. Dead of failure there, should I want to change formation as well as Pedro. So uh, hopefully we can have a good game. We'll, uh, we'll jump straight in. Of course, if you missed any of the other episodes in this little mini-series, then feel free to check the channel page for them. Uh, so far, we've looked at Liverpool, British Dortmund, Chelsea, Napoli and someone else whose name escapes me <laughs> but uh, we're jumping in now we've only got Barcelona Man City and Boca Juniors left to look at so hopefully we can have another good result today of course this isn't, isn't really about the result or what difficulty you're playing on etc it's more about just having a look and seeing what the game looks like with different teams seeing who feels uh, you know or seeing how different players feel when you play with them etc so uh, we've really enjoyed playing with, uh, with Liverpool and Chelsea so far. The BPL side seem to suit my or my specific playing style, so hopefully uh, that will be the case when the full game comes out. Of course, next week we're getting very close now to uh, the early release, uh, which comes out, I think, at the weekend. I think it's Friday for uh, North America and, uh, and Saturday for... I'm going to give this a pop, you know, with Danny Alves! Oh, what a goal! Danny Alves with a screamer from 40 yards, five minutes in. I had no right to hit that from that distance. I just gave it a whack for the sake of giving it a whack. And that dipped right at the perfect moment to go underneath the bar. That is a screamer from Danny Alves. A beautiful finish. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. Danny Alves, what a hit. He has got that in his locker in real life. And if he can do that sort of thing on FIFA 15 as well, he's going to be one of the best right backs on the game. Roman Weidenfella clutching at thin air. It's Barcelona 1, Dortmund 0. Fantastic start. Smelts are down the line looking for Marco Royce. Royce obviously going to be one of the best left-sided midfielders in the game, although of course on career mode you can use him any position you like, but uh, he's going to be left mid in our uh, ultimate team and you would l probably assume that he, along with a small handful of others like Ronaldo and Eden Hazard etc will be the best uh, left-sided midfielders on the game. I see the runner Messi there. He's tried not to play him through unfortunately. He went to uh, the midfielder. But we'll let Dortmund build up a little bit see if we can get some defending done. Well done by Xavi tracking back. Not really part of his game but he's done well to get the ball back there. Nice first touch from Alba. That's a new animation I think. As the ball came into his feet he just kind of set it out in front of him by uh, rolling it through studs. There are quite a few new little animations in the game so far. We've seen a handful of them in uh, this little mini-series we're doing. Neymar's in behind here. Should we try McGeady spin? We will. Nutmeg the man goes down and the referee is given a penalty. Fantastic. That was so good from Neymar. Subotic just couldn't cope with the skill. We'll have a look at the replay if it's going to come. There it is. See the nice little McGeady spin there. Didn't quite go through that defender's legs. Oh, it didn't quite go through the second defender's legs either. But Subotic brings Neymar down. It's not him to take the penalty, as you can see. It's going to be Lionel Messi, unsurprisingly, of course. Now, can I make it 2-0 in the 22nd minute? The bar is moving pretty slowly, so we should be able to put this top left. The goalkeeper's top left, at least. I've gone top right. Is Messi going to do his trademark celebration as I run off? No, he's not. We'll do it now. There we go. I do like the way that, uh, albeit it didn't happen there, but as you run off players automatically, it's probably because I had players tug at me, it kind of defaulted the animation. But normally when you run off, uh, the players will do uh, like a, an extra celebration. If they have a, a trademark celebration like Messi or Di Maria, etc., they will perform that celebration whilst they're running off towards the pitch. just gives it that more realistic feel. Like uh, when Messi ran off there, it was kind of similar to how it has been the past few years, where they just jog off. They don't actually celebrate, whereas this year, Despite, or oh, regardless of how much input you put into the celebration, they will celebrate of their own accord as well as uh, any, you know, finishing celebration that you do. So uh, that is a nice addition. I really do like that. We'll add an extra dimension to career mode as well, which should help when it comes to the Chelsea career mode series, which of course will be coming to you very soon indeed. I'm so pumped to get going with FIFA 15 now. It's been doing all of this demo, um, you know, this demo series, and of course the uh, the potential stars just makes me even more 
uh, you know, apprehensive, not apprehensive, uh, impatient is uh, the word I should probably use to, uh, to get going with uh, FIFA 15. I'm not apprehensive at all. I'm purely excited about the new game. Messi not really doing the best defensive work there, and unfortunately for Dortmund, the ball goes wide, but we are very, very close. Now, let me know in the comment section if you got this far in the video where, um, where you're going to be doing your opening career mode, if you do career mode. If not, let me know what sort of players you want to play with on the Ultimate Team as well. Obviously, uh, the likes of Messi, Neymar, um, Suarez, Ronaldo, etc. The world's best will be in that list, but there's a, is there anyone that's n perhaps out of the norm you might be looking at? Someone like Chiro Immobile or Adrian Ramos, the two new strikers at Borussia Dortmund. Players of that sort of, uh, of quality. What sort of squads are you going to be looking to build on Ultimate Team this year? Let me know in the comment section down below and we'll try and play Messi through. Unfortunately, it didn't come off. Xavi into Iniesta. Not so much movement ahead of me. That's Ivan Rakitic, who does have a good shot from distance. So if I can get past that challenge, which we have, we'll give it a crack. Oh, I was headed towards the top corner. A lot of movement in that. He struck across it, so it started towards the middle of the goal and bent away towards that top right-hand corner. Good strike from Rakitic. Oh, it took a deflection off the player's chest. I didn't see that first time around. That was deadly realistic. That was really good. Neymar on the corner then. Not really the obvious corner taker, but it all almost drops. Messi will play it to Jordi Alba. He's bouncing his shot. Oh, trying to replicate the Danny Alves finish from the first five minutes. Just before half-time, we stay at 2-0. Change things around at half-time. I've uh, switched to a, a false nine formation. I've taken Suarez off and put Pedro wide right so we can see how the Barcelona team plays in their uh, default formation. I, I tried to alter things around so we could get all three of the, uh, the big stars at Barcelona on the pitch at the same time. But we'll, uh, we'll change back to how the default formation is, just to see how the team play, if they're going to get any different. Messi's completely ignored the ball, which is very un-Messi-like. But we'll have to see if they they play any differently in this default formation. The 4-3-3, or one of the variants of the 4-3-3, has been my most, sex, mo most successful formation on uh, the demo so far. I've been playing it a lot. Oh god, I just let him run all the way through. I've been playing it a lot recently over the past few days on uh, Legendary with Chelsea, just to try and... You know, get a little bit better at the game with uh, with the uh, specific Chelsea team, which of course we're going to be doing the career mode with. So uh, just to try and get some practice in really before the early release comes, we start the series. The question is, what do I do here with Neymar? I'm going to try and Ronaldo chop, and then we'll finesse cross goal. Three nil, great. What I sounded really. Uh, that was quite sarcastic. Oh, great. 3-0. We're 3 nil up. Good finish by Neymar. Good pace to get away. Turns inside. Really, really nice uh, way to go 3 nil up. Quite Neymar-esque as well with a skill finish and then a tidy little finesse. But yes, what I was saying was I've been playing recently on Legendary with, uh, with Chelsea to get a little bit better. I have improved at the demo, as you may be able to tell from the fact that uh, throughout the week we've gone from losing 1-0 on professional to, uh, to winning 3-0, although admittedly is with uh, one of the better sides on the demo with Barcelona, but still, I've been getting slightly better at the game, and hopefully that will trans, uh, you know, that will go across to the uh, the full release when it comes out. We'll try and play the ball into Neymar here with Xavi. I see the runner Messi. That's who this ball is intended for. Now can he get there? No, it's good defending from uh, Nevin Subotic. Cool, bloody hell, that's a big throw. Show it to Marco Royce's feet, but we got it off him, but only as far as Adrian Ramos, who's just come on the pitch for Chiro Immobile. Can he give Borussia Dortmund a little bit more of an attacking impetus? Uh, oh, God, I can't get the ball away here. It's pinballing about. They have the shot. Good block by Piquet. Not sure whether he blocked that with his face or his arm, but it's gone wide for a corner. So we'll see what Dortmund can do here. They've just put on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for Henrik Mkhitaryan. It's a good change. Mkhitaryan's ultimate team card this year actually looks fantastic. So it's going to be interesting to see how many people use him this year as opposed to... Oh, what a finish! Adrian Ramos has given them the attacking impetus they were looking for. He's tidily slotted that into the bottom corner. Is he actually going to celebrate? Eventually he does. I want to see a replay of that. Can I skip this particular bit? I can. I want to see a replay of that. He was facing the wrong way entirely and just swivel... <gasps> what a goal! I, I thought he'd swiveled on it. That is a gorgeous goal. That is exactly the same as Ronaldo scored for, uh, for Real Madrid against... Oh, was it Raya Vallecano a couple of seasons ago with a cheeky little back heel? That is beautiful. I don't mind conceding a goal like that. I had no idea he'd done that until I saw the replay. I thought he just swiveled on it. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to put in the title uh, Dani Alves Screamer and Adrian Ramos wonderful or like back heel wonder goal something like that because I want you guys to see that hopefully more people will watch it than have been recently and uh, more of you will be able to see that 
those goals are absolutely spectacular. That was beautiful on the demo. Can Xavi make it immediately fall, though? No. Good save by Roman Weidenfeller. Not the best of clearances. Can Rakitic win this header? He can. Or oh, I can't turn around quickly enough with Messi. Wow. I thought that was a comfortable save. And he's just poked it into the top right-hand corner. The guy, I wasn't commentating there. I glanced away at, uh, at my laptop to see what... Uh, my tweet was someone tweeted me at the exact moment that they crossed that football and I got distracted and it meant that they've scored a second goal this is a great game good ball in good header from Marco Royce goalkeeper gets a good save on it he's just trying to lift that over the bar I think uh, Marc-Andre to Steigen you see he just pushes it up gets it up but not enough and it dips inside the top corner in off the post jeez what a game this has been the most goal filled so far Barcelona 3 Borussia Dortmund 2 comes Marco Royce through the middle. Uh, uh, Dortmund going to get themselves an equaliser? They are not. So at least not yet. Going to come away with it. I'll play it in. Oh, that was meant for Neymar. Iniesta, but Neymar's picked it off. Iniesta should continue his run, and I will find him. I'm going to try and get inside the man here. We'll try a finesse shot. No. Good tracking back from Lukas Piszczek. He's had a slight downgrade this year with a couple of stats, although he's still the same overall, I think, from memory. But Blazikowski's also had a pace downgrade as well. They've given a lot of players pace downgrades that were stereotypically the fastest on FIFA in previous years and other players like Raheem Sterling etc have had a big increase in their pace. He's now got 93. I'm going to hit this first time with Messi. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Wonderful first time hit from Lionel Messi. There goes the final whistle. Wow, what a strike. He'd be disappointed with that but we got the win which is the most important thing as you can see. Messi is pretty pleased with that. That's a 3-2 win with uh, Barcelona over Borussia Dortmund. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that game. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below if you scored any goals that were as spectacular as Dani Alves's or Adrian Ramos's so far this year. But for now, that's all for today. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed, and I'll see you next time.